my wife Becky. Welcome to our garage. Alright, I filled the gas tank up with water and now I'm going to push some dish soap in it. Then I'm going to put the hose back in it and agitate it a little bit. There's no need to pull the fuel tank off. This will get it just as clean. This water is actually running into the carburetor not right now, but that's okay. I'll take this fuel line off here and let all of that run through there, circulate. And we'll clean out the carburetor here in a few minutes. The carburetor in this thing looks surprisingly good. Uh, I was expecting a real mess. The float's not sticking. Uh, the gasket's still usable. There's some crud right here in the throat of it, but uh, I believe with a little bit of cleaning, this thing's going to fire right up. Well, at this point, I can't uh, see any need to take the carburetor off to clean it. I believe I can get it clean, leave it on there, and. Uh, not destroy gaskets and have to buy gaskets. I think it's going to be just fine. We'll see. Well, I ended up having to take the carburetor off and clean it in a parts washer. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to. There were actually earwigs in the carburetor. Well, this cable that hooks to this safety handle up here is locked up, of course. So, having to get the oil out and hopefully get it loosened up. I guess if I shoot enough oil up in it, it will. I had checked the oil before and the oil looked normal, maybe just a little bit dirty, but after I ran it a minute, you can see how milky it is. There's water in that crankcase. So I've got to drain the oil. Taking this oil drain plug out, I'm sure there's a lot of water. Yep, yep, yep. You can see how milky it is, foamy. That's a good thing I didn't run it very long. This mower did not come with a primer bulb, so I had to put one on it because this mower simply will not start without one. I mean, you pull until your arm falls off. Well, now with a primer bulb. I took everything apart and I'm going to give it this thing a real good cleaning. Uh, not just because of the gunk and stuff that's on it, but uh, we, we have a lot of trouble with earwigs in this part of the country and uh, the thing had earwigs coming out of it everywhere. So I'm going to get rid of those. Well, there you go. This push mower is complete now. It is for sale. If you're interested, give us a call. All four wheels on this mower are adjustable. It's a six and uh, three quarter horsepower Briggs and Stratton. Most push mowers you find these days are only five, maybe five and a half horsepower. This is strong.